This is another one of our uh, tech notes in which we're talking about the, uh, uh, the individual components of our cognac still. And right now I want to talk about the, uh, the swan's neck, the col de cygne. Uh, I'm standing on top of, the, uh, of our cognac still. I got you know, one foot on it. That's copper. This is a chapiteau. It's copper. This is the swan's neck. It's copper. Now, what the swan's neck is, is this graceful curving and uh, slowly uh, decrease in diameter pipe, which comes, or tube, that comes out of the top of the chapiteau and then leads over. This is the pipe that will uh, take the steam over to the uh, condensing coil to cool it back down into liquid. And again, just as in the chapiteau, um, the, uh, there's a certain amount of condensation and then dropping back down into the still and redistillation of the steam that's coming up out of the still itself. And if you, you, unless you're looking at a stills that were manufactured in the last 50 years by one manufacturer, you go back into the 1920s and 1930s and you look at pictures, all the coal de senior have slight differences in them. And I have no idea, and I doubt if very many people do, know what the difference is between what happens inside these things uh, due to the design of the coal de senior. But we have both here and at the uh, distillery up at the ranch, it's very similar, uh, very sort of like graceful, high arching coal de senior. And we think that has something to do with the elegance and uh, delicacy of the um, um, brandy that comes out the other end. Again, what happens is inside here, due to the shape, different alcohols are going to condense to the side of this as they cool down a little bit as they leave the still, fall back down into the liquid that's being distilled and get distilled again. And what alcohols those are uh, have something to do that the choose to condense themselves and fall down into the still have to do with the eventual taste and aroma of the brandy.